In this video, we're going to continue looking at dynamic blocks by building upon our door block symbol that we had previously created. And what we want to do in this video is we want to learn how to move our door swing to be in the middle of the door opening. The way our, our block currently works, if you were to do a test block, whenever we flip our block, it flips it about the hinge line, which means that it's also moving the entire opening. And many times, whenever we want to flip the door swing, we, we want to flip it within the same opening. So let's look at how to do that. Well, the first thing that we realize is that we need to move our swing, our door swing action. So let's go ahead and move our action and our parameter. As you recall, we added a flip parameter, and associated with that parameter is a flip action. And we have our reflection line here, which is our mirror line, and it's at the hinge, and that's why the mirror is taking place at that point. So let's just go ahead and start off by moving everything over. I'm just going to select my reflection line. I'm going to select my action. And I'm just going to move it over 18 inches because we have a door that is drawn 36 inches. When we test our block and we select it, we can see that we've pretty much accomplished our goal already. Everything's working. We're flipping from the middle. Let me go ahead and close my properties. And that looks pretty good. But let's continue to test it a little bit further by stretching our door to be a different size. So I'm just going to randomly stretch it. And what happened is our mirror grip stayed in the same place. So if we flip now, it's not working exactly like we would like. As a matter of fact, our base point, we can see it still right here. And it's changing the opening in a way that we're not wanting it to happen. So we need to fix this. So let's close the test block and take a look at what we need to do. Basically what's happening is we just we just moved this flip action to be 18 inches off. So we've got it as a set distance off. And that's not going to work. What we need to do is we need to associate it with this door opening width. To accomplish this, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add another action. We're going to use the same parameter, this door opening parameter that we created, and we're going to add another stretch action. Let's select our door opening parameter. As far as our parameter point, we're going to pick the one at the end, which is what we stretch our door by. And when we do our crossing, we want to make sure that we catch our reflection line, our flip icon, our grip, um, basically our, our flip actions and parameters. And then whenever it asks for the objects to select, we're just going to select those items. And notice we end up with a stretch icon over here for our stretch action. So let's test this once again. Test block. We select it. Let's go ahead and make it bigger. And as we make it bigger, we notice that it's not quite working. Now, I like to, this method of kind of learning from trial and error because what's going to happen is if I just draw it right off the bat the way that it's supposed to be, then whenever you try to recreate this and you miss a step, you're going to wonder why your block isn't working and mine is working. So this isn't working still. It's, it's close because this is moving, but it's not exactly what we need to happen. So let's close our test block once again. What we need to do is we need to select our stretch action over here, and then we need to go to properties. And in properties, we need to give it a distance multiplier of 0.5. And if you recall from a previous lesson, the distance multiplier is kind of like using our angle offset. These are overrides that we can attach to our action. So let's test our block once again. If we select our block, we stretch our block. Now, we can flip and everything stays in place. Close our test block window. And now we have a block where our point is in the middle of the door, and our but we have the ability to flip the swing without moving the door out of the opening that we originally inserted into. Okay, now the thing that I'd like for you to try um, on your own is go ahead, we need to add another flip parameter. We need to flip it about the midpoint of this opening in case we want to swing it to the other side of the wall. So go ahead and experiment with that, and then we'll continue our lesson in dynamic blocks in the next video.